Welcome back to the Corporate Cowboys Podcast. My name is Alex. Today's date is Saturday, December 10, 2022. Thank you for joining us. If you are new to the podcast, just know that this is a form of uh, cathar- cathartic therapy and a way to get free advice. We're going to give you a mock 30 minutes consultation every episode, mostly every episode if I don't have an invited guest or some type of interview going on. If there isn't, I mean, the mostly exclusive content is going to be on Patreon. Come join us, the Corporate Cowboys podcast. There are multiple tiers that allow you varying degrees of access. If you want to shoot us a donation, it could be one time or recurring. You could set something up. There are links around for a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, that good stuff. You can find us on Instagram. That's at Corporate Cowboys with a Z. And um, I mean, without further ado, let's see if we can't answer a question coming from r slash career guidance. These folks are on Reddit, obviously, and they are asking for advice. They've flared it. They've put the flare there for advice, seeking advice. They're asking, what are some good skills to learn in my free time? Well, God, <laughs> what, what are some good skills? Jeez, I mean... Okay, the body. The body says here, what are some good skills to learn in my free time to increase the likelihood of me getting a better paying job? Okay, okay. So they've at least given us some some requisite, some necessity, some context as to what skills, the uh, the appropriate skills they're looking for see because when i heard some good skills just to learn in your free time i mean i'm still trying to learn play the harmonica i'm still trying to learn to draw and i doodle every now and then you'll catch those on the instagram page if i'm in a a conference some kind of business meeting but brainstorming session I might get down on some doodling and post it as a a proof of life still. But if you want to get a better paying job, I think first and foremost, it's going to be your speaking skills, your communication skills. What level of communication do you possess that justifies you being paid more. I'm going to say a large number, a significant, if not the majority of jobs, deal with person-to-person interaction. And you have to know how to interact, how to communicate person-to-person on an individual level. As a human as a professional. Why? Because that's, that's the nature of, of, of business. That's the foundation of business. It's transacting between one another. Even if no money per se is exchanging hands, even if no product is exchanging hands, there is always, always a service component. whereby business is initiated or business is maintained. Business is developed. It's going to be through this sort of interaction. That to me is the paramount skill. That would justify getting a better paying job. Now, there is a lot of variety, I guess, 
people have different definitions of what a better paying job consists of. And the uh, OP here, the original poster, the, the one who's prompted us with this question, they don't give us any further context. And if we had them on a one-to-one, -one, we would ask what their skills consist of, what their technical skills consist of, what their social skills consist of, what their background is in. It could just be that they have the technical skill to start at an entry level job and are asking what additional technical skills they might need to be paid more money. Technical skills like word processing, like technical writing, like composing spreadsheets, automating spreadsheets, data analysis, projection, forecasting into, I don't know, business cycles, mathematical formulas, something scientific even. But that gets away from the social side of things. If we're talking strictly technical knowledge, what, what are some good skills? I think uh, the term skills is something practical, which is why I went straight to the social. I went straight to the communication skills because that will allow you to navigate the workplace. That will allow you to navigate the corporate world better than simply knowing how to automate functions in a spreadsheet, how to analyze business data. If you don't know how to communicate it, if you don't know how to bring your higher levels of technical knowledge using a skill to be able to communicate it to the person who writes your checks. I, I don't see how knowing so much, knowing everything, knowing a lot automatically translates into money. I don't see that connection. There has to be that interaction, that in-between, that communication, whether it's in the form of a presentation, an introduction, an interpretation, and then a negotiation for compensation, for your salary, for your money, what it is you take home. You have to know how to translate what you know into something the other person can contemplate, can possess within their own mind and put a value on it. Now, that's a start. How you increase that value, you need to further develop your communication skill. Because if you're just right off of the bat giving the right answer with no nuance, with no context, with no, what's the term I'm looking for? With no diplomacy, no influence, no professionalism. You're effectively a drone. You're only working for the check when you should be working for yourself. Developing your professional skills, your communication skills for the sake of continued development, future development. That's what, be, what becomes valuable to the company, to the corporation, whoever you work for. It's only as valuable as you make it and what they're willing to pay for it. That back and forth communication, that line of communication must be healthy. And a good professional, a corporate cowboy knows 
how to initiate contact, how to maintain communication, and further strengthen those lines that create trust, that then become business relationships, that become your professional network, and ultimately, your network is your net worth. It's not it's not often that you get the opportunity to exercise those skills you possess to work on them to 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 craft and to hone them. This goes all the way back to season 1 episode 1 of filing down that skeleton key when <laughs> When your communication skills are maxed out. When you've developed them to the maximum possible. And I get, I understand, not every interaction goes the way we want it to. We're humans at the end of the day. And as rational as we might be, sometimes humans are unreasonable for whatever reason. And that way, in, in that way, crafting a skeleton key, I think, is it just takes me back to how I started developing myself, how I learned to communicate and be outgoing, not be boisterous, not be flamboyant, right? I mean, if I have to put on an act, I know how to put on an act. I've been there. I've done that. I set people up. I've built people up. I mean, not not, not set people up like that, right? I've I've helped. <laughs> Hold on, Alex. Choose your words. <laughs> I've I've developed. professional relationships where the fruit of those relationships are the personal successes of others. And I say successes like plural is the personal success of another person. That's how I've set others up. So we are speaking professionally here developing yourself what skills exactly could they be looking for i mean i i would say social social at that point because it's a universal objective i want to say as a corporate cowboy to want to move up in status to want to move up in position to want to move up in compensation but that comes with responsibilities. That comes with an increase accountability. If shit hits the fan, it falls on those with the highest ranks. At least it ought to. It should. In some organizations, that may not be the case. But those organizations may not be as resilient internally. May not be as innovative, as creative. But that's for another episode. I still put my money on and will continue to bank on communication skills. Let's take a look at some of these comments and uh, find what others are suggesting. The first comment here says Microsoft Excel. <laughs> I mean, we spoke about the utility of knowing how to create and use spreadsheet software but it's not the end-all be-all 
I think knowing it is a good technical skill, but an interpersonal skill, like communication, like public speaking, that's going to create those relationships, those bridges to being able to secure better paying jobs, if not a better paying position within the same job, within the same organization. Uh, second comment here says social networking. Yeah. They put in parentheses relationship building, teamwork, and social skills. Yes, yes. That's all – Those are, that's, that's a great summary of what I said essentially. And it's very straightforward. What I did was – just off the top of my head, gave what I believe to be the most reasonable response, the most professional response. It's knowing how to be a professional, how to act like a professional. Somebody else said, the third comment here actually says, uh, looks like they break it down. But I'll, I'll go ahead and read it off. It says here, professional, and then a colon. Professional. Coding. And they suggest JS, JavaScript, Python, SQL, and command line. Uh, data management. They suggest Excel or Axis. Design and engineering. So they suggest AutoCAD, GIS, and microstation under photography and videography and editing. I don't know that that's still the same design and engineering. They suggest they further suggest photo, photo slash videography and editing uh, under foreign languages, and then under that vehicle licenses. And in parentheses, that's piloting trucks and boats. So obtaining vehicle licenses. Uh, I want to say vehicle licenses is probably not a skill. Um, the license itself, the skill itself, yeah, I think so. Knowing how to pilot, knowing how to drive, that sort of thing, defensively or offensively, right? Just having, knowing the basics and being able to build upon them, I think, is a good start. But having the licenses themselves, I think it opens more doors. But uh, what they were asking for was was the skills to get a better paying job and not so much the credentials. Those skills will lead to credentialing though. And of course, open the door to higher paying positions. But I went with what I felt and that was the social skill, the social component. Uh, they put here under general core competencies, auto repair, finance, stretching, calisthenics and physical care. Home improvement, also languages. So, yeah, knowing how to speak in different languages, knowing how to communicate, be it in different languages. Uh, they also include the best hobbies, which are martial arts slash self-defense. Under that, they put BJJ, Muay Thai, weapons training and safety. Uh, foraging. Well, they put foraging like forging documents or forging metal, but I think they meant foraging, like, because in parentheses, they put a uh, mushroom ID and hunting. So being able to, um, not bushcraft so much, but, but being able to fend for yourself in the wild, knowing, knowing a little bit about, uh, outdoorsmanship. Uh, they include farming slash botany and horticulture. Uh, I think those are good hobbies, definitely. Meditation, mm, it's a good hobby, I suppose, but one can be productive and uh, get into a state of Zen simultaneously. It takes additional work, but hey, if it's a passion, if it's what you want to be doing, like developing social skills, like what this podcast is for, like how it serves me, then you can do it. Um, and they put breath work, and they could also fly drones, so... I don't know, maybe you could take up droning as a hobby, but as far as I know, that also requires some type of license to be able to, uh, some type of commercial license, like a drone license to be able to uh, 
fly drones in in some regional airspace. And then they put here, and most importantly, read, read, read. Developing a good system for taking notes and logging your knowledge is critical for anyone who takes reading seriously. Personally, I I tend to agree with that with that last piece to read, 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 knowing, being able to put eyes on a document, to put eyes on a situation, just reading a situation, reading a room, being aware, right? Even if, even if it's coming, even, even if it's information coming out of a book, knowing how to collect and distill that information into a form of intelligence, something that is usable, something that can be applied, then becomes knowledge, then becomes something actionable. It becomes something you can practice. And when it becomes, when it moves from something, well, when it moves from just the realm of knowledge, knowing how to do something to actually doing something, actually practicing it, it becomes a skill. I think reading is is one of the most basic, one of one of uh, I think a primary, the most fundamental form of acquiring skills. It's a bridge to acquiring skills. Obviously, you could be very book smart and not know how to do anything in practical life. So, reading doesn't give you skills, but it provides you. It provides a mechanism. To acquiring skills and it cannot be discounted i think reading is invaluable so that may just be my bad for not addressing reading but i feel like i may have i may have been working off of the assumption that people who ask these questions especially people who write them who type them out on these uh, subreddits are already literate to an extent, right? Are working with a minimal, at least minimal level of knowledge, of intelligence that they're able to seek, know how to construct questions, how to create questions, how to compose a question, seeking further knowledge, seeking something additional, seeking to supplement their life. Um, But yeah, obviously reading comes in very handy in a lot of fields because it's, uh, it's the foundation for knowledge acquisition. It's the foundation for, um, For communication, I think, even since we're younger, if you're not reading words, you're reading people. You, you, it, as a young professional, if you're not just reading words to develop yourself, you're reading people to develop relations. And um, yeah, it simply can't be understated how important reading is. Um, continuing to the next comment, I think they're going to start becoming repetitive here because this is now the second time I'm seeing Microsoft Excel. But they include Tableau, Tableau, that's T-A-B-L-E-A-U, Tableau. But I don't know what it's for. I I myself haven't used Tableau. Uh, I I might have heard of it, but I'm not sure what it does. But I'm assuming because it's paired with Microsoft Excel, it's some type of software or application uh, to use for technical, uh, technical work. Uh, somebody else here says, this looks like a joke. Nunchuck, nunchuck skills. They write bow hunting skills and computer hacking skills. So whether or not, whether or not that's a serious response, I'm not sure, but it's highly upvoted and it even has some awards. Um, somebody put the next comment is Python and SQL, which are programming languages. And, uh, let me, let me actually follow up because somebody responds to this to the suggestion of learning Python and SQL, they ask what the best source for learning these things. And somebody else responds to that question 
There is plenty of free content on YouTube. I really like the channel Scent Dex. S-E-N-T-D-E-X. Scent Dex. I believe he has a Python playlist on his account. If you want to go a paid route, there are plenty of courses on Udemy as well. Udemy. Just make sure a sale is active and Google the course to make sure it's good. For SQL, you could do some reading with W3Schools website or exercises on SQL Zoo. SQL Zoo, that's W3Schools, the first suggestion, and uh, then exercises on SQL Zoo. And then there's an aside here. They say, understand that t- what tutorial hell is. What tutorial hell is. Understand what tutorial hell is. At a certain point, you will feel very uncomfortable doing unique problems based on your interest, but you will also likely feel like tutorials aren't helping anymore. At this step, it is so important to just dive into a personal project and use lots and lots of Google. Uh, You can check out some other subreddits. They include some subreddits like Learn Programming, Learn Python, that's r slash learn programming, r slash learn Python, and r slash learn SQL. Yeah, again, those are technical skills. Will they make you money? I'm sure they will. Will they make you a better paying job? It depends. It depends on what you're making now at your job. If like if this person is if this person already is a middle manager, <clears throat> I went straight with communication skills. I think communication skills are a universal gimme. Are a universal gimme because you need to know how to communicate in order to get what you want and negotiate for it, right? Um, but s- simply throwing out technical skills, this person might already know Python and SQL, um, which is why I didn't go with anything technical just off top. Obviously, there are a ton of technical, like learn how to go, learn how to weld. You can make, <laughs> that's, a, that's a technical skill. It's a practical skill, right? Go learn how to do it. I myself don't know how to do it, just the very, very basics. But if I had to be paid for it, I would go out and learn more. Right, you could start making seventy an hour welding. Um, this last comment, I'll leave off with this last comment because I'm starting to see uh, a a pattern repetition here. Um, they write and they ask actually some question. It says, "What field are you in now?" The answer depends on your skills and interests, right? Isn't that what I said at the the beginning? If I had this person in a face-to-face on a one-to-one consult, I would ask them questions about what their experiences are now, what their skill set is now, what type of education, their background. This person says, for technical skills, there are so many free or close to free resources out there. Yeah, if we're speaking technical skills, you can find a lot of that just in the the interwebs, in the library. This person suggests JavaScript, Python, or good. They say, I've seen a lot of people learn Salesforce from scratch, and they have a free online training portal called Trailhead, which is excellent. Outside of tech skills, learn public speaking, learn copywriting, sales, and marketing. Find something that interests you and start there. Always be learning. And good luck. I couldn't say it better myself, but this person, this person went into a little bit more depth with the copywriting, with the sales, and with the marketing. Um, I think, I think the foundation to all that is simply communicating. If you know what you want, you need to know how to get it. And typically, you are getting it from other people. If if those people are 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 human, or if they're corporations, right? You're getting it from other persons natural or legal persons but you need to know how to communicate and that does require learning how to write a form of copyright a form of copywriting because everything is a hustle everything is a sale you need to know how to sell and how to market how to market your message how to market your value as you try to navigate social networking 
professional networking, professional development. Thank you very much for joining us on this uh, on this episode. I'm going to cut it right here. It's been about 30. And um, yeah, if you have any comments or questions, if you need some, if you're in need of some help and would like a consultation, if, if you're seeking a consult, you can write to us. Snail mail is just fine. It's P.O. Box 3372, Rancho Cordova, California, 95741. Have yourselves a great evening. Have a nice weekend.